It was shocked to learn in the media the government of Venezuela plans to take over the company's 11 oil rigs in that country. News on Fix anchor Lori Fulbright has the new developments. Lori? Well, Jennifer Helmer and Payne shut down those 11 rigs when the Venezuelan government fell behind on its payments. The company says it wants to drill oil there but doesn't want to do it for free and right now is owed about $43 million. The company even offered to sell the rigs to the government in Venezuela, so it's a surprise to learn the government plans just to take them. Helmer and Payne has oil rigs both in the U.S. and abroad, including the 11 rigs on land in Venezuela. When their contract was up there in 2009, the company shut down the rigs and stopped pumping oil because of the payment issue. Not only does the PDVSA, which is the Venezuelan National Oil Company, owe Helmrich and Payne the $43 million, but also began paying for some work in local currency rather than U.S. dollars. And Helmrich and Payne wants that money converted, which is another 14 to $30 million. The Venezuelan government accuses Helmrich and Payne of refusing to discuss the payment issue and says the company wants to keep the rigs idle. Some believe President Hugo Chavez sees those idle wells as a plan to weaken his government at a time when he's running for re-election in just a few months. So he plans to just take over the 11 rigs and put them back into production. Helmrich's president and CEO says... Our dispute with PDVSA has never been very complicated, and our position has remained clear. We simply wanted to be paid for work already performed. The company says if the dispute over money can be settled, they'll get the rigs back operating again and even offer to sell the rigs, and was in the process of negotiations to do just that. They say even now they've not been officially notified that the Venezuelan government plans to take over the rigs. Helmrich and Payne has worked in Venezuela for 52 years, and they say they want to continue there under reasonable conditions, but at the same time, they've also cut the number of rigs in that country in half in the past 12 years. Helmrich and Payne currently has 214 land rigs in America, 39 international ones, and then nine offshore platform sites. The State Department is urging the country of Venezuela, if they do take over those rigs, to at least reimburse the company for them. Lori Fulbright, the News on 6 tonight.